part. Okay. <laughs> the entire thing, it goes back to like the end of my eighth grade year. I met this girl, her name was Allison, and um, yeah, we, <laughs> it's not, okay, before I go on, it's called Anna Diplosis for a reason. I didn't name it Anna Diplosis because I used the term when I was writing the piece. I wrote it because the, the sequence of events happened, like three, the three girls, or something like that. The sequence of events happened like one year. And then the next year, the same sequence of events happened again, pretty much at the, around the same time, and I was just an idiot to not notice it until the matter of the fact was over. And that's why it's called Anadiplosis, but anyways, <laughs> I'm going to be hopping around a lot with this story. Um, so, yeah, I met Allison, and things were really, really good, and they seemed really good, but she lived like several towns over, and <laughs> that was already hard to maintain. I won't, I'm not going to go into a lot of details with all three of these people, but it was, it deteriorated quickly as summer set in, and I could just tell the breakup was going to happen, and it did eventually. And then that was out of the box. And then, oh, <laughs> I met another girl, her name was Callie, and, um, that was another one. We had, like, so many times we just spent talking for hours on end and hours and it was perfect I thought it would go well and then my freshman year rolled around the start of it and we started losing contact with each other but we still talked and we still tried to see each other and then <laughs> it was actually at the um what was it the pancake breakfast that we had here I saw her there and uh Callie <laughs> <laughs> I'll withhold the full names. <laughs> this is like, this is like an abridged version of the entire story. Like, if I could go on, I could, if I could go on and tell all the details, it would take like several hours. No, I was like, I saw her there, and I actually took her to a practice room, and like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> No, no, okay. I'm a good Catholic boy. I am abstinence. Abstinence. You miss it. No, okay. No, okay, well, we did. Not yet, not yet. Yeah, I'm telling you the story. <laughs> no, okay, so <laughs> I took her to a practice room, and no, I am. <laughs> I we didn't do anything. Get that out of the way, okay? All right, all right. It's okay, Liam. And um, let's see. I actually sang. I actually went on the piano and sang her a song or two, and then she ended up singing with me. And then I think we left the practice room, and I no, I told her I loved her. No, okay, and then. So let me let me get on. Let, let me get on with it. Okay. It's so like you guys, you guys, stop, stop, stop. So like you want to know the details behind it. You don't have to tell all the details. I'm not yeah, I'm, there's like I'm already missing out like a hundred details I could go on about already in this point. <laughs> no. But um she told me she loved me too. And then uh, we just sort of started losing contact again, and then I found out next week through a friend that she was actually, um, <laughs> she lied when she said that she loved me back. <laughs> and she was also starting to see another guy, so. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, don't. So, 
Nothing, nothing, no. I was, I decided I was just going to leave it. I, I told her goodbye, I had just left out of her life. But of course, I always have contingency for everything, so I actually had a plan to reestablish contact like six months later and it actually worked beautifully in real life. Uh, like, <laughs> no, okay, I wrote her like, I had a journal around that time, I wrote like letters in it to her. Yeah, some of you guys know about it, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And then, yeah, I wrote those six letters, I gave them to a mutual friend of ours and told her, told her to actually give it to Callie over, like, winter break to, like, make him, but... Is No. She's the third one. <laughs> We're not there yet. So, like, yeah, I wrote those letters, sent them off, I knew I would re- Life's too short to burn bridges is my motto. Like even even if they did me wrong, I still want to reestablish things and make sure I'm always there. No. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, yeah, most people just burn the bridge. I can't I can't do that. Like like I can't do that. I can't burn bridges. It just I <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, people keep going. Keep going. And then this is where the third person came in. Yes, her. Oh, how did it come about? Like I, I was joking around with my friend, and she lives. And I was joking around with my friend. She lives in Raytown. I'm just like, hey, you got any cute friends I could talk to? And she's like, well, actually, I do. I was just like, well, all right then. And then next thing I knew, this girl was messaging me. It was going really nice. We started, we had all these nice conversations, and she almost even went to see the musical, but then, like, uh, her dad was super strict. Like, he didn't even know I existed. That's how, and uh, I think, like, after about a month or two of us talking, she stopped talking to me altogether. I thought I did something wrong. Like, I was like, I was freaking out because I thought I was messed up with something. I was just being dumb. But apparently her dad had blocked me and, like, all of her friends on Facebook from talking to her. And that made me feel a little bit better that I didn't do something. But still, it, we lost contact. And then the spark that was there fell apart. And... Yeah, I tried messaging her a couple of times after that and just, it wasn't clicking. And then that took place from, let's see, 2015. About like, I don't know, it was, that was the 8th grade of freshman year to about <laughs> November 2015, I think. Yeah, that all took place until then. And, um, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then... Yeah. And then 2016, February, this was where the actual antithesis part started coming in. The repeating of the stuff. Um, okay, so this is where I started to get more detail because I'm like closer to the present now. I can actually remember most of the stuff. So February, Valentine's Day, is like around Valentine's Day. Allison, she started texting me out of the blue. I'm just like... February? 2016's February. The first one. And like, she started texting me out of the blue, I'm just like, cool, she just wants to reestablish contact and be friends again. Well, I was dumb, I didn't realize she was hitting on me again. And like, I took her, no, I joked around with her one time, because like, there was a musical going on at the middle school that I was going to see, I asked her if she wanted to come, kind of as a joke. And we kind of left it at that. And then like, a couple weeks later, I show up at the musical there at the middle school. She lives. She also lives in Raytown, so she is like quite a drive away. And like, I show up to the musical there, and she's like sitting there. And she no, she walked down the aisle and waved at me. I was just like, wait, you actually came? What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I at then I still didn't even take the hint. I didn't even know. <laughs> but yeah, we sat together. We we sat together, and then. Uh, we talked for a while after that, for about a week, and then it stopped again. I don't know why, but apparently that was... Okay, and then about March or April, April, I think, I saw her again. We were at Comic-Con. <laughs> I'm a nerd, but... No, not this recent one. And, um, let's see... 
I don't know how, but one thing led to another, and we ended up kissing at one point. It's actually like, it was actually like three. <laughs> okay, no. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going. And then like, no, I did not. I did not. Okay, but like, okay, and then, <laughs> so, Pretty much all of that summer was spent trying to chase her. Cause like, no, I talked to her about it. Yeah, I, yeah. I talked to her about it. Like, apparently she had like that major crush on me in February, and then I didn't, I didn't realize it until like two months later. No, and then like apparently by the time I actually did something about it, like, she didn't really like me as much anymore. Chase, right? Yeah. Girls? Yeah. And then like so she told me no, no, I sat her down, I sat we sat down, we talked about it. And I asked her I asked her where she wanted to be going with this, and then she said that she didn't know how she would feel about a relationship, but um that her mind could be changed about that. So I latched on to that because I'm dumb and I like to latch onto false hope. So I spent the entire summer trying to go after her, and then at the end of the summer, uh, yeah, the entire summer, I was like messaging her every day, and sometimes she would just leave me on red for several hours and then respond. And like. This one time she got super offended at a little joke I made. It wasn't even that bad, but you know. Okay, so like. Read a message, a text message? No, like she would like read my text message and like she wouldn't reply back for like several hours. It tells you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you can see if they're ignoring you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see. It was at the next. It was actually at the Comic Con at the end of summer, and um, it was like the third day. It was the last day. It was like the last hour of it too. I stopped her and I asked her. Hey! I actually asked her out, and like, <laughs> ooh, ooh. It did not go well. It was, I was just rejected. It wasn't good. I, I can kind of remember the details, but basically she was not interested at all anymore. So, yeah, yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, we started talking, and actually things started going much better than how they went around the first time, so I got, I was feeling good, I was feeling good, I thought it was all going to work out finally, that maybe this would work. Oh, oh, yes, another important detail, um, yeah, Miss Davis, you know this part, the, <laughs> remember that one time it was, yeah. I saw you on the stairs. Yeah. I yeah, I was with Callie, she was... Callie she used to. She was a, supposed to be. She was a freshman. This she went here for like the first couple of weeks, and then she like couldn't handle how big the school was. She like had no. She had like anxiety issues or whatever. It's so. a pretty big school compared. Oh, <laughs> what? No, she doesn't go here. Okay, okay, I, I can finish. Um, so. <laughs> Yeah. Should be like an hour long. <laughs> I thought, I thought, so yeah, I thought maybe something could work here, and then Callie left. Callie left, we were supposed to, like, get closer this year and be good friends this year, but that didn't work. And then Hannah started texting me again, and then I ended up going to her homecoming, actually, in Raytown, and that was, it was Hannah, yeah. I went to her homecoming, I think, just the greatest memory I had that night was, we were slow dancing, and um, I was holding her, and like 
I literally could not stop smiling. Like, <laughs> my face hurt. My face hurt. It was like, it felt so nice, too, at the same time. And then, I just... And I asked her, I left that night, we weren't in an actual relationship at that time either, and I asked her, I, I knew she didn't really, she was a bit wary about getting into a relationship because like she had a ton of issues, like her exes, like, yeah, it was serious bad, but, no, this is Hannah, I took her to her homecoming, yeah, it was, yes. I reassured her that it's okay if she's not sure yet. I told her it's all right that to not worry about it, that I'll be fine. And we kept talking for like a month after that, and then she just slowly started, stopped talking to me altogether. And I was just confused, like I left, like she left me, I didn't know what I did wrong. I, I still don't even know. It's not always you. If you all think of it as what did I do wrong or what's wrong with me, it's, it's not the right answer. I just... <laughs> it can be their own choice. I said... What? Okay. If you always assume it's not always you, and that's just... It's a really, really super, super, super common thing that people do. Yeah. Sorry, I do life advice. Um, like, not you, it is, it is the other people. I'm sorry to keep getting in the situation. It's, it's not... You don't do anything, it's just them. I'm sorry. I've learned that. I think we're all crazy. <laughs> Let's just be honest. <laughs> Anyways, where else? Yeah. I was this place. Yes. That was the girl? Yes. No more dating for After your piece?